Hello, hello, hello. Hashtag Mums Keto Kitchen coming in to you live today um, from Facebook. I'm just going to sit and setting up my, can you see me? YouTube. Hi, YouTube. And hi, Facebook. So it's an exciting day today. Day one um, of my series two. <clears throat> Are we okay there? I'm um, just should have. I'm new to to YouTube, so um, if I don't seem very professional, I'm very sorry. But by the end of the series, hopefully things will improve massively. Now Facebook's a little bit skewy, so let's straighten up and fly right. Okay, so then today I'm kicking off my um, series two. Uh, episode one with some homemade mayo, herby mayo, um, that I, I use throughout the week really for my recipes. It's very, very noisy. So what I have done is, is, is started the whole process massively. Okay, but I'm going to talk you through it first of all. So first of all, you get, you get your two eggs. Okay, and, and you would, I have already separated them. Not terribly well, I have to have to admit, but you just use the egg yolks. So put your egg yolks in the bowl and start to mix. I added a little bit of my pink Himalayan salt, um, and then I just mix, 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 mix. You look at about 15 minutes now, and then drip by drip, you're adding. Um, I've used avocado oil. So bit by bit, you're adding the avocado oil, and it's going to be about 15 minutes. So... Then I've added some pink Himalayan salt. Um, I've added a about an eighth of a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I have not added yet, but I'm going to now some minced garlic. My usual staple, you'll all get to remember this because I'm always using this. My onion salt and my garlic salt. And this is literally going to be an eighth of chopped onion. Okay, so I'm going to put it on the go. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm just going to add a little bit more of the avocado oil. And then I've got um, a whole load of lovely fresh herbs here. So with my ridiculous nails, they are ridiculous. Um, I was in the recording studio last week, if you um, didn't know, um, and I had to um, chop all my quite short, actually, nails off, but they were still tapping, um, and so it could be heard on the piano. Anyway, I'm, I'm just um, quite happy to announce today as well that I've hit the £200 mark now, so I'm down £200, and today... I've got into a pair of jeans that I've never actually been able to get into. So I've gone down another size. I've possibly gone down two sizes since I was last doing my Keto, keto Kitchens, if you've been watching. But um, anyway, here we go. So I'm going to get this on the go. So please excuse the noise. Um, and I'm going to chop away. So that's just a drizzle gone in. good. Um, I'm quite happy with that, but it really has taken, I would say, about 15 minutes. So I'm just going to throw my herbs in. And again, <clears throat> it's all about flavour always, isn't it? Yep, we can, we can live a keto lifestyle and we can have pretty much anything that we want. Um, 
and we can make it taste really good. Okay, so I'm, I, I will put quantities in, but what you've got to remember, guys, is these quantities, these are for my taste, okay? So really, it's about you, if you're not kind of both pay with cooking. That's got quite a bit of tang to it. Um, quite the sharpness. Um, I might have been a bit heavy-handed with my with my lemon juice for the family. It's good for me, but for them they might know. But then, do you know what? If they don't moan about that, they'll moan about something else, don't they? Okay, and we're just going to go in once more with another drip. And my eggs. Oh, God. my life but I am doing deviled eggs I don't call them deviled eggs though because I don't like the word devil <laughs> mine are godly eggs godly eggs that's right Dexter so let me know where you are no let me know where you are coming in from I know where you're coming in from so in the pan here I have got half a dozen eggs now get down down go to your bed he's got to be careful of all the cables bless him um, go to bed. Go and lie down in your bed. He wants an egg to play with. He's going to come back now and ask for a, a play. Has anybody out there got doggies? Are you doggy lovers? Fair mummers, as they call them in America. So, I'm not going to do all of these eggs. Well, actually, I am. And I'll tell you why I am. Because if you leave, hello, Arvind, I've, I've who, who, I can't see that from here, Arvind Barty. Hello, Arvind, and hello, Sharon. Thank you for stopping by. We're live today on Facebook, and we're also live the first time. Well, actually, I did a story time as a, as a little bit of a trial run yesterday on YouTube. So my story is I am... Um, £200 down now, taking me a long, 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 long time. Um, but I have to say the last five months since I've been doing the keto diet with conviction. Um, and I've had, I've had a bit of help. I've had a lot of support. And um, it's been the easiest five months. It's flown by. I've loved it. And I've gone from being really quite disabled by my weight um, and by a debilitating condition that I've got, which seems to have just calmed down massively, which is fantastic. So what I'm going to do now, whoops, the lady, that wasn't the dog, that was me. I've got a squeaky shoe. So I'm going to put some of these just in a bag in the fridge because for a keto lifestyle, this is a great snack. Okay, so I'll just want to get really, really hungry, which actually, I'm going to be honest, I don't really. I don't get really, really hungry. Um, I have my magic fairy dust, which stops me from feeling hungry. But I think, I think also once you really are, once you become fat adapted, your body is burning 
fat instead of glucose. You really don't feel that hunger, but you do feel all the betters, don't you? Okay, so I am going to chop my eggs in half <laughs> as carefully as I can. I'm trying to look to see where the yolk is and I'm trying to go right in, in half with those. Okay, because I want to take, that's not, that's not great really, um, but I've got spare eggs if it doesn't work out. So what I want to do now, I've got some gorgeous, gorgeous smoked trout. Now I don't know about you, I love smoked trout and there's only one place that I know I can get it from. Do you know where that is? Drop it down in the comments if you know where you can get smoked trout from. And we'll compare. <laughs> um, I mean, you know what, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a massive lover of, of fish, but I know the benefits of fish, and especially know the benefits of fish on a keto diet. Um, but this, oh my goodness, I've always loved it. When I was a little girl, I used to do a lot of fishing with my dad, um, and his favourite fish was trout, so we would always go trout fishing. I'm just breaking this up loosely, by the way. Um, and the amount of times I, you know, had gutted and um, cleaned them out, cooked them with... Um, in some butter, put them in some flour first of all, and salt and pepper. Sorry, I just wanted to know. Um, I should have been a bit more okay. Now I'm in the fridge. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hello. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah. So it's kind of like second nature to me, but when I was a kid, oh, I hated trout. Loved catching them, but I hated, hated the eating of them. Whereas now, ooh, yeah, must be, must be smoked though. Okay, so I'm just going to chop these really, really finely, as finely as I can with these ridiculous nails. I don't know why I've got the nails like this. I think it was because I was feeling quite deprived because if you don't know me already, I'm actually a trained concert pianist. <laughs> Always thought my my biggest reason for being on the planet, as well as being a lovely mummy, of course, um, was to inspire people musically. Whereas now I'm actually feeling as if with all the wonderful response and messages that I get. I am putting my egg yolks, by the way, in with the smoked trout. Yet with all the lovely messages um, and daily support I get, I'm actually wondering whether God put me on this planet to inspire people, to help them with their, their weight journey, because it's actually, you might say it was very, 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 very difficult get into the Royal Academy of Music and very, very difficult training to become a concert pianist, you know, five, six, seven hours practice a day. Takes up quite a bit of discipline there. But the biggest struggle in my life has been my weight. So I just wonder whether I was actually put here now to make the biggest struggle of my life the most successful part of my life, really, because it's all coming together. After 15 years, I've been doing it. Right, so I'm just going to get, look at this lovely mayo. I am, I'm going to, I'm going to put it into the garlic, because this, I'm careful of my egg whites, this is going to go into my jar, and then you'll see how pretty it looks. Now, I'll be honest with you, I have, I've only done two small egg yolks. So I will have to do more of this later. And what I will do, actually, is I won't put any more seasoning in it and I'll just add the eggs and the avocado oil. You could use olive, um, olive oil if you want to, um, because the family won't eat this because it's too powerful. Okay, so I'm going to just put a little bit, maybe it's about a tablespoon, in with my mixture. Mix it all up. 
Now, if you wanted to, you could actually, with this, in your bullet or in your hand blender, I've got my hand blender to, to hand, but I just, I like, I like the crunch of the spring onion and I like the texture of the fish. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is um, some salad that I prepared last night and I never just do a plain salad. I don't know about you guys, but um, I, mean, I, I, I love salad, love salad, love vegetables, always have. Um, but what I, what I do, gosh, I have to stuck my nose. Um, with this particular salad, I had some broccoli and some asparagus and some French beans, and I sauteed them with some butter, some garlic powder and some onion powder, my staple, and um, just fried and fried, and then I put the lid on, take it off, put the lid on, take it off, so you're steaming it, and then you're kind of drying that kind of moisture back, back out. And then I just let that cool. So you've got this lovely, buttery, salty. Hi, Diane. Lovely, buttery, salty um, um, vegetables. Okay. So then, just a plain old salad. And we've got lettuce. We've got cucumber. We've got some um, red peppers. We've got some beautiful tomatoes. We've got some orange peppers. We've got some celery. And then I just tossed the broccoli and the um, French beans and vegetables into the salad and that made a really lovely dressing. Okay, so now all I need to do is fill up, that's a silly spoon, isn't it? Yeah, we'll use this one. Fill up my little egg whites. Now, okay, this is going to be my lunch. I've had a very early start today already that's a silly spoon as well. I had a very early start today because I started my day at half past five because at six o'clock on a Monday morning, I have a power hour with my two mates. So my working day starts at six. I will be working till about Monday, half eight tonight, and then um, it's the whole bedtime routine. So generally, I, I won't eat until my lunchtime. And of course, when I did the last run of live kitchens, I wasn't eating till about two o'clock. Well, by the time I've kind of experimented and sometimes I've decided hmm, last minute to do a particular recipe, um, and I'm just being so pedantic about it, it to be absolutely perfect. Um, there's quite a bit left in there, actually. So do you know what I might do? I'm not going to waste it. I'm just going to put it in the middle. Okay. Now, what else could we add to that, do you think? for keto it's got the omega 3s for the um, from the fish it's got some nice fat the avocado oil from your mayonnaise but not very much of it so I think I'm just gonna taste my my salad okay so I'm gonna go with a little bit of MCT oil I might do myself a little dressing. So, <clears throat> again, tiny bit of the garlic. Tiny bit of the lemon. MCT. Three Himalayan salt. Lovely. Okay, now, whoops, the baby. So I wouldn't 
normally eat till about two o'clock, but the kitchens are earlier today because um, I thought it would fit in with my life much better. So the whole day is not taken up. So this is my godly <laughs> stuffed eggs with homemade mayonnaise, which we will be using for the rest of the week, okay? And I will, what I normally do, okay, is I put my, um, I put my recipes into my group. And my group is called, let me just turn this around. My group is called Mum's Keto Kitchen. Um, and so I'm very, I uh, would be very happy if you sent me a, a request to come and join Mum's Keto Kitchen. By the end of play every day, I will put the recipes in there and I will put the photographs in there. And if you don't know me already, um, maybe you could send me a friend request and we could become acquainted. Um, if you're watching it live, will you drop a one in the comments below? I can see Anthony, I don't know your name, Anthony. Hello, Karen, I know your name. Danielle Beeman, I don't know who you are. Hello, darling. Um, Charlotte Chapman, hello, I don't think I know you either. Leslie Johnson, no, I don't know you. So hello, Leslie. Diane Cormier from Canada. Hi, Diane. Of course I know you. <laughs> Hi, cuz. Here's my cousin, Sammy. Sammy Haynes, you're looking great. So proud of your efforts. Oh, thank you, darling. Um, Anne Flint, that's another name I don't know. Nuresha Franny. Hello, Nuresha. Hello, Anne. Hello, Nilam. Hello, Sarah. Sangeet to Singe. Hello, Angie. Hello, Hiya Aurora. How is our gorgeous little girl? Um, Hiya, Sharon and Arvind, Jeff and Pete. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, tell me, are you, are, are you keto? Have you ever done a keto diet? Um, are you doing it now? Um, is it successful for you? Um, the whole idea of my kitchens is for me to help you in any way that I can to offer you inspiration and advice. So even though we may not actually know each other in the real world, um, I am more than happy to help you um, to reach your journey. And I would really massively love it and would appreciate you guys um, if you could tap my nose and touch the three dots at the top. And so every time I do go live, you can follow me and you will hopefully see me shrinking before you, well, you will see me shrinking um, before your very eyes if you watch me. It's not hopeful about it because it's going to happen. Um, and, you know, maybe you'd like to look back at some of my earlier posts and um, I'm hoping that you will see um, quite a big difference because I'm feeling quite a big difference. Anyway, so, I am going to enjoy my deviled eggs in a, not deviled, mm. my godly eggs. Oh, wait, does anybody know why do they call them deviled eggs? I don't like that, that word. I mean, I suppose maybe paprika. Do, you, do we think it needs a bit of paprika? Is that what's missing, the colour? Yeah, the colour just isn't quite what it needs to be, is it? So shall we, shall we paprika? Shall we be a little bit of a sprinkle? Is that what makes them deviled? Oh, that does look colourful now. Oops, that's a bit too much. Okay, so. What do you think? Let me just move the comments off the screen because I can take a photo then. Mm, yum, yum. Anybody hungry? <laughs> okay. Oh, and YouTube, sorry. Oh, the camera's a strange angle if you guys want to watch. There you go. Okay. So, have a wonderful day, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye now. Oops. Haven't ended you guys. Bye now.